okay so another video on the csi net suggestions and this is to talk about the developmental biology and what are the topics you need to understand more from the developmental biology and you know the problem with developmental biology of most of the students because developmental biology is not a major part for any of us because majorly the students that are appearing for csi net either they are zoology honors or botany honors or uh, biotechnology or microbiology majorly these four subjects or, or physiology obviously these are the subjects so we don't have generally uh, specification or dev bio so that's why that's the reason majorly uh, for the zoology uh, perspective and for the biotechnology students they learn or they understand dev bio a certain extent but for the rest of others they don't know anything about developmental biology and when you talk about developmental biology we are talking about the development of animals right so for like any other things you need to have a basic understanding of whatever topics you are dealing with right before going into any suggestions you must have a basic understanding of all otherwise uh, you can't actually go go through you know i've written here gastrulation i've written a sea urchin developmental biology until and unless you learn or you know what is development how development actually occurs and what are the fundamentals of developmental biology you don't uh, you can't be able to understand any or uh, any of this uh, these topics so that is the reason uh, we need to uh, look for a basic understanding first so that's why we write here the developmental biology basics and how the development actually occurs what are the modifications that occurs organizer concept and how organizations take place then obviously you need to understand about the pole variation of an egg right and you can find all these things in my developmental biology series of videos everything is given there and you can click on the link here above uh, to get through that part that's very very important you can have all these sequential videos just watch them you will have understanding so that is the part you need to learn developmental biology basics right after you understand basics you need to know you know blastulation gastrulation these are the part which are very very important now second thing is the developmental biology of certain organisms like developmental biology of sea urchin especially the mating of sea urchin and the fertilization in sea urchin that's very very important the gamete production and fertilization in sea urchin then uh, the developmental biology of drosophila and especially the molecular regulation uh, regulation actually you know molecular regulation of the development uh, in drosophila development that's very very important using certain genes like maternal maternal genes pair rule genes right so these are the examples of certain genes uh, maternal inheritance genes pair rule genes and all these things you need to understand and that's from the drosophila developmental biology and finally the c elegans uh, biology you know c elegans is a typical you know it's a custom organism which people use to study in various biological techniques so that reason c elegans is a worm actually and you can study it in c elegans you need to understand the life cycle of the c elegans as well as the development of c elegans in certain extent because they have specific features in their development that no other organism actually share so that's a very important thing about c elegans and you can understand that by by reading it right or by 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 reading all the links that are posted up and bottom and these regions you can just click on it and you can see those videos and this is the part of which is important and i'm telling you that uh, this from this developmental biology they are going to give you questions and almost two three questions uh, both in the group b and group c they will give you questions from developmental biology to so please prepare on that but uh, if you want to study you can go for the human developmental biology but i won't uh, encourage you much in that sense if you have time or if you want uh, definitely go for it but they usually the tendency is to give more questions from the developmental biology of other organisms rather than uh, the developmental biology of humans so this is the part of uh, the discussion and thank you